Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good evening. Okay, very good. Nice to see you again, Irma, Tania, Christian. Uh, we are about to begin. Uh, we are going to review a little bit of the phrasal verbs. Do we have any homework? Teníamos tarea o no teníamos? Yes. What was the homework about? De qué era la tarea? What was the homework about? You remember? Ah, oh, what's a family, right? What's about your family? Yes, I remember. This one, right? Family complaints. Very good. We are going to begin, uh, not with the homework, but we are going to uh, share this kind of information, right? Christian, Irma, Raquel, Tanya, Myra, and Elida. Thank you for being here. So uh, we're going to begin right now. We're going to review the phrasal verbs, right? We are going to use the phrasal verbs today. Remember that phrasal verbs can have a lot of meanings and also a lot of, uh, we can create a lot of them, right? And they have to exist, not create them, right? But they have to exist. We have to learn them by heart. And it depends on the context, they can change the meaning, right? For example, yesterday we were studying takeoff. Takeoff is despegar, right? Uh, an airplane can take off. And also takeoff is um, like take off your shoes, right? Quitarse algo de la ropa. Take off your shoes, take off your shirt, etc. So it depends. So we need to learn a lot of... Um, phrasal verbs. We are going to begin with a listening. This is helping around the uh, around the house. We are going to listen to the results of a survey about family life because today we are going to talk about family writing and different chores that we have and activities and you're going to check uh, the answer to each question. Sometimes a uh, more than one answer is possible and you're going to fill this, uh, fill it out. You're going to fill this table out. As you can see here, it says, let me read the questions. Who is the messiest in the house? What is the meaning of the messiest? What is the meaning of that? ¿Qué significa the messiest? Ordenar. Uh, for Ordenar. Yeah, kind of. If I tell you, Christian, you are the messiest, what, what would you understand? Uh, if I tell you I am the messiest, what would you understand? I am the messiest in my house. No, the messiest is like the opposite, el más desordenado, right? Ah. Ah, Who is the messiest? Exactly. Okay. So, uh, number two, who does most of the work in the kitchen? Quien hace el, 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 most of the work es el mayor trabajo, de quien trabaja más en la cocina. Who does the general chores inside and outside the house? Quien hace las uh, tareas dentro y fuera de la casa generalmente? Number four, who worries most about expenses? ¿Quién se preocupa más acerca de los gastos? Right? So we are going to listen and we are going to check here if men, women, boys, or girls, right? Let's see here. Unit 6.
Page 38. Exercise 6. Listening. Helping around the house. Part A. Listen to the results of a survey about family life. Check the answer to each question. Sometimes more than one answer is possible. Welcome to this week's program, Who Has It Harder?, where we'll take a look at the roles and responsibilities of men, women, boys, and girls in families. First, thanks to everyone who responded to our survey. Rob? Thanks, Natalie. Later on in the program, we'll be taking your phone calls and talking to Dr. Harris, a family psychologist, who will answer your questions. And now for the results of the survey. Natalie? Well, in response to the first question, who is the messiest in the house? The answer was boys. 85% of you said that your sons or brothers don't help much around the house. They don't pick up their things, don't hang up their clothes, and leave their clothes lying around. Interesting. And what about the second question, Natalie? Who does most of the work in the kitchen? Well, 84% of you answered women. Many of you also explained that the boys and men usually take out the garbage. The girls and women tend to cook, do the dishes, and clean up. Both boys and girls put the groceries away. And what about general chores inside and outside the house, Natalie? Well, according to our results, women usually clean up inside the house, while men usually clean up the yard. Both men and women contribute here, it seems. Well, that's good that everyone helps out. So what else do the men do? Ah, well, that's our next question. Who worries most about expenses? Our survey results indicate that men worry most about household expenses. One young man wrote to us saying, My dad always tells my sister and me to turn off the lights if we're not in a room, not to spend so much time on the computer, to turn off the TV, well, everything really. I guess he's really worried about money. So, Rob, it appears dads worry the most about money. Yes, very interesting. Well, now I'd like to introduce Dr. Harris. Okay, perfect. Did you have the answers? Did you get the answers? Yes? No? Okay, we're going to answer going them. To... Again, do you want me to play it again? Yes? Yeah. I can play it again, yes. no problem. Okay, remember, you just need to check who is the messiest in the house, men, women, boys, or girls. Who does most of the work in the kitchen, men, women, boys, or girls? Who does the general chores inside and outside the house? And who worries most about expenses? Expenses is gastos, ¿verdad? We checked that vocabulary yesterday. Expenses, gastos. I will play it again, and you will listen to the answers, okay? And then we are going to check it. Results of a survey about family life. Check the answer to each question. Sometimes more than one answer is possible. Welcome to this week's program, Who Has It Harder?, where we'll take a look at the roles and responsibilities of men, women, boys, and girls in families. First, thanks to everyone who responded to our survey. Rob? Thanks, Natalie. Later on in the program, we'll be taking your phone calls and talking to Dr. Harris, a family psychologist, who will answer your questions. And now for the results of the survey. Natalie? Well, in response to the first question, who is the messiest in the house? The answer was boys. 85% of you said that your sons or brothers don't help much around the house. They don't pick up their things, don't hang up their clothes, and leave their clothes lying around. Interesting. And what about the second question, Natalie? Who does most of the work in the kitchen? Well, 84% of you answered women. Many of you also explained that the boys and men usually take out the garbage. The girls and women tend to cook, do the dishes, and clean up. Both boys and girls put the groceries away. And what about general chores inside and outside the house, Natalie? Well, according to our results, women usually clean up inside the house, while men usually clean up the yard. Both men and women contribute here, it seems. That's good that everyone helps out. So what else do the men do? 
Ah, well, that's our next question. Who worries most about expenses? Our survey results indicate that men worry most about household expenses. One young man wrote to us saying, My dad always tells my sister and me to turn off the lights if we're not in a room, not to spend so much time on the computer, to turn off the TV, well, everything really. I guess he's really worried about money. So, Rob, it appears dads worry the most about money. Yes, very interesting. Well, now I'd like to introduce Dr. Harris. Okay, very good. Do we have the answers now? Yes, right? Is it difficult? It was difficult the listening or it was easy? It was easy, right? Easy peasy, okay. No problem. Let's see what is number one. Who is the messiest in the house? Who is the messiest? Boys. 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 Exactly, boys. What do you think that is? What do you think boys are me the messiest in the house? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué creen que es eh, los niños los más desordenados? What do you think that is? Do you have brothers? Do you have siblings? Or when you were boys, right, children, uh, were you messy? So in my case, I have two nephews and one niece. One niece, and I consider that boys are messiest than women, because my niece is just only on the sofa making her homework, and the guys just um running around the house, making a big disaster about everything for that reason. Exactly, and and why do you think uh boys are like that? Is like the nature of boys? They are just like this, or the so way I consider that they rise? don't follow the discipline sometimes. <laughs> and it's like a, uh, like a woman, you, you follow the rules and you try to make everything different. And that is the difference between women, women and boys for that reason. For that reason, I consider that um, they die too young <laughs> than women. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. can follow the rules. Yeah, exactly. Some probably, probably. Yes, it is true. Actually, education takes a lot of part in this case because uh women they are told like, ah, you are the woman, you are you have to do this, you have to clean the the dishes and wash the dishes and clean this, and you have to be organized because you go you're going to be a mother. So since the beginning, uh since we are children, we are raised in that way, right? And boys probably uh, mothers or parents they think ah oh, it's a boy boys are like that right uh that's the the way they are right so but but actually they they have to be responsible for that very good let's see number two who does most of the work in the kitchen women women, women right women exactly why do you think that is Marvin um because uh, her, her make the best food. <laughs> <laughs> they prepare, they cook better than Mary. Very good. That's a good question. That's a good answer. Sorry. Very good. Yes. But also because uh, they are the mothers, right? And uh, it's really weird, like to see a, like a father preparing the food for the whole family, right? Because normally the father goes outside and 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 he works outside of the house. And before, right, or sometimes nowadays also, uh, we have different cases that uh, women stay in the house, take care of the children, prepare the food, and that's the way it is. Like we uh, men, we normally we cannot cook that well, right? Also for that reason. Very good, perfect. Number three, who does the general shorts inside and outside the house? Men and women. Men and women, right? But what is the difference? What is the difference in the shorts? The women help inside or outside the house? Like they do the shorts. Inside the house and inside. men. Help and outside men? the 
exactly men do outside like uh fixing things right and cutting uh the grass for example uh mowing the grass and cutting the trees right and outside uh, that's outside right and inside the women like clean things and organize things yeah it's kind of different also and number four who worries most about expenses ¿Quién se preocupa más de los gastos en la casa? Men. Men, right. Why do you think that is? So, because in the video say that the father said to the boy that they have to turn off the the lights and the TV. I just understand. So I just understood something like that. Exactly. Like, for example, parents, like dads, right? They say, hey, turn off the light, right? Hey, turn off the TV, right? Probably because they are the ones who pays the bills, right? Uh, my father used to do that. Like, he used to touch the TV. And if it was warm, he was, ah, you're watching TV. You're not allowed to watch TV. And he said, you have to turn off the TV, right? All the time, we were not allowed to watch TV. But um, only at night or after our homework. Uh, yeah, probably that's the the answer. But very good, very good. Uh, did you feel that like was, this was a difficult listening or it was easy fue fácil o difícil easy right or difficult it was uh, easy or difficult tanya tanya can you hear me are you there tanya tanya pamela montoya lopez <laughs> Puede oírme. Yes, yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm difficult. <laughs> difficult, yes, they were speaking really fast, right? Yes, but we are going to practice a little bit of we're speaking today. It says, let's see here, let me close this window. It says, in this class, you will notice the stress patterns in requesting with two proverbs. So this is just about pronunciation, right? Um, uh, this is when we, this is the stress in two proverbs, like pick up the toys, right? Pick the toys up, pick them up. So it is just uh, the stress or intonation when we pronounce these uh, verbs. So uh, mostly in sentences, uh, if we want to emphasize the verb, uh, the verb will have always the, the strongest stress, right? So for example, pick up the toys, pick the toys up, pick them up, turn off the light, turn the light off, turn it off. So that would be the way we stress words, right? So you can practice in your house or listen in this kind of conversation to stress um, these um, verbs, like these phrasal verbs. Uh, it's kind of weird that they uh, wrote it like two part first because I knew them like phrasal verbs, but that's okay, no problem. So we are going to practice this and then we are going to practice um, a role play. Let's see here. So pick up the toys, pick the toys up, pick them up. Kimberly, can you repeat the first three, please? With pick, Kimberly Lopez. Okay, pick up the toy and pick up the toys up. And sorry, sorry, pick the toys up, pick mm -hmm. them up. Pick them up, very good. Perfect. Now, Marvin, can you uh, repeat the the other three? Turn off the light. Turn the light off. Turn it off. Okay. Uh, turn off the light. Turn the light off. Uh, turn, it, turn it off. Turn it off. Exactly. It's, yeah. As you can see here, is uh, different. The uh, stress, right? So we are going to listen again. What time it is? 9.21. I think that we don't have this uh, family life. Sorry. 
I think that we already did that. So who is the messiest person, who does the most work in the kitchen, who usually takes out the garbage, who worries most about expenses. So let's see, do you know any of these verbs? I will make it bigger because it's kind of blurry. So clean up, what is the meaning of clean up? Limpiar. Limpiar, exactly. So what do we clean up? The garbage, groceries, magazine, the mess, the microwave, the towels, your coat, or your laptop. What things can we clean up? The garbage. The garbage, very good. The garbage or the mess also, very good. Hang up, what is the meaning of hang up? Colgar. Colgar, exactly. What can we hang up out of the things there, or out of the options? Your coat. Code, abrigo, exactly. We can hang up the code and also the phone, right? Pick up is similar to clean up, right? But pick up is recoger. What can we what can we pick up? What do we pick up? The garbage? The mess? <clears throat> The towels? The mess. The mess. Yeah, pick up your mess. Exactly. Put away. What is the meaning of put away? Guardar. Guardar, exactly. Put away uh, your coat, probably, or the groceries, right? Put away the, the groceries. Take out. What is the meaning of take out? What does it mean take out? Take es tomar y out is fuera, right? So it's sacar, right? Take out, take out the garbage, probably. Throw out, what is the meaning of throw out? Throw out. What is the meaning? Throw es tirar, verdad? Y throw out. Lanzar afuera. Lanzar afuera como the garbage, right? Also, throw out the garbage. But if I say throw up, what does it mean? Throw up. I threw up. I threw up. Tirar arriba, throw up, throw up. Well, it has different meanings, but for example, if you feel sick, and you 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 have eaten and you take out the food out of your mouth right like throw up like vomit right throw up i'm going to throw up right vomitar that is throw up that is another phrasal verb turn off what is the meaning of turn off apagar apagar and turn on that's the opposite right Answer there. there, perfect. Now we're going to do this. We have reviewed phrasal verbs and we have reviewed the topic. Now we are going to review the homework that you had. Family complaints. Write a list of things about your family that you would like to change and then present it to the class. Example, we barely see each other. We don't celebrate holidays, birthdays, vacations or anything together what are the things that you don't like about your family like do you have any complaint about that can you tell me who did the homework mm -hmm. complaints <laughs> so well i'm going to start saying that uh, about my family family I did, I don't like the noise around me. So, and sometimes it's, it's very hard when I come for, from my job and there is a lot of screamings in my house. My nephew's making disaster in all the area. 
And it's like, uh, I would like that they can grow up and change that and don't don't listen and nothing about the noise and, and that kind of things. Oh, uh, it is because I don't have any privacy in my room. Sometimes I am so tired and <laughs> it's 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 too hard when I have the possibility to 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 lay on my bed and they are knocking my door and and sometimes it's like a very frequently that they knock my door and if I don't open the door they are um disturbing me with a lot of things. It's just like a Tia, are you there? <laughs> and just like a oh. It's some it's some it's something that I don't like. Okay, something so screaming, noise, no privacy, and they are knocking on your door. Yeah, all the and it's time. because they, it's for the age that they have in this moment. But I I, I don't like for the, that reason. I consider that I going that I not can be a good mother in the future. That I, I want a good mother for that oh. reason because I I hate the noise. <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I understand. That that can be very, very stressful. And what do you say to them if they are knocking or go away or something or only, you don't do anything? Um, um, there's nobody here. <laughs> Come there's on, no... go on. <laughs> I fell asleep. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. So yeah. probably they, 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 they like you, right? And probably they want, they want to play with you. But so, very good. Yeah, it is. It is because when I am on the sofa watching a movie, they are um, next to me trying to hug me, and it's like, a, no, come on, don't like me. But they are making uh, different things to call my attention. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> probably they like you a lot. But very good. Yeah, I... it is because I consider that they are like the cats. When you don't put attention in them, they they want you. When you put attention, they don't want you. <laughs> Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I yes. I have a cat in there, kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, very good. Very good. So now if we have noise, screams, no privacy, knocking on my door. Very good. Uh, another yeah. person. Can we? Uh, another person did the homework. Algo que no les guste de su familia. We had an example with Elida. Very good, Elida. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Another person. Me, teacher. Okay, Kimberly, go ahead. Okay, I write in a sentence mm -hmm. and I write that I would like my niece to have up in the house stuff. I would like my niece help us mm -hmm. in the house stuff. Help us in the house. Like uh, yeah. she doesn't help you at all? Your niece like, doesn't help help you in the house. Uh, like she doesn't pick up the toy, like that, and she doesn't clean up her mess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how old is she? She is uh, six years old. <laughs> oh, six years old. Yeah, probably. Uh... Uh, yes, by that age, I guess that you learn, right, how to pick up your toys and everything, right? Yes. Yes, so you, she doesn't do it. And who does it for her? You or? No, no. We try to teach her. Mm -hmm. We try to teach her and try to, I don't know, how, how can I say it? So you try to teach, teach her. her. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> try oh, to okay. teach her how, how can she do the things. Okay. And she agrees uh, with that or uh, she just yells okay. or runs away or? Sometimes she gets angry, but, but sometimes she is agree with that. Okay, very good, very good. Probably yeah. she's learning, right? Very good. Yeah. Perfect, very good. She doesn't do so many tantrums. Very good. Let's see somebody else. Alguien más? Mm, 
Nobody else did the homework? Hi, teacher. Okay, Christian, go ahead. Um, I don't like that my father always turns the TV on too loud. Mm. Okay, you don't like your father to turn turn up the TV? Like, it's very loud, right? Okay. Okay, and what do you do when that happens? Give me. What do you do when that happens? Um, I... I go the patio. I go the yard. You go to the yard. Yeah. And you <laughs> you don't you don't ask your father, hey, dad, can you turn down the volume, please? You don't do you you're not you don't know you're not allowed to ask him. Eh, yeah. sometimes. Sometimes. And what does he say? <laughs> go to your room <laughs> go to the yard yes <laughs> okay very good very good yes actually parents they sometimes they don't know right for example uh my mother used like this her cell phone really loud her cell phone is really loud my mother's cell phone and sometimes i'm watching tv and she doesn't let me listen to the movie or the program that I'm that I'm watching, and it's kind of bothering. I understand you, Christian. Very good. I think that we experience kind of the same situation. Let's say let's see another problem that we have with our family. Somebody else? Alguien más? Somebody else? Nobody else? Anyone? No, okay. Perfect, no problem. We're going to continue with this, but first of all, we are going to know how to request with models, right? Like, would you mind? Would you mind, right? What is the meaning of that? Would you mind? So we have models here. Um, have you studied model verbs? Ya estudiaron los verbos modales? Ya saben qué es eso? Un verbo modal? You already know that? Um. Yes, teacher. Okay, what are so they? So we have different uh, modal verbs and different kind of actions. So they are for obligation, permission. Um, There is like a suggest something. It's like a, you can, for example, good, should. It is like a permission or, and most is like a obligation how to can, may, and I don't know, I just only remember like eight modal verbs. Yes, you remember a lot. Very good. Yes, exactly. Oh. That's a modal verb. Yes, yeah. uh, exactly, Elida. Thank you. So that is uh, to, uh, as Melida said, right, we, we use it for different things, right? In this case, we are going to use modal verbs to make requests for things that we don't like, right? For example, my husband doesn't help me in the kitchen, right? Or my children are screaming all the time. So let's listen right now. Um, yeah, let's listen this part. Page 39. Are you able to listen to it? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. We are going to play then. I will make it bigger. I guess that you will be able to see it better in that way. Okay. Page 39, exercise 8, grammar focus. Requests with modals and would you mind. Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the music down? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind plus gerund. Would you mind turning the music down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here?
perfect. Now, as you can see, we have different modal verbs. Can, could, would, right? Those are modal verbs. And this is the explanation. What is a modal verb, right? A modal verb, also known as a modal auxiliary verb, is a type of word that is used to modify the modality of a main verb. Modal verbs are kind of auxiliary verb, but they are important because they can affect the meaning of a sentence. Auxiliary verbs can help from the mood, tense, and voice of other verbs, commonly using be, have, and do. Whereas modal auxiliary verbs more specifically affect the mode of a sentence. So in this case, uh, what he's saying here is that a modal verb uh, changes the the mode or the meaning of the sentence, right? It's different. We make it different. It says these types of verbs can't, can't work alone. They need to be used with another verb in the sentence to have an effect on it. This is what makes them special. By now, you are probably wondering, what is a modal verb going to do? Well, here is an example of how a modal verb can change a sentence. So, for example, as uh, Elida mentioned before, we have different modal verbs. These are modal verbs, right? Will, would, may, might, can, could, must, ought to, and shall, and should. But we are going to use, we are not going to use all of them. We are going to use some of them. Solo vamos a utilizar algunos. No todos, ¿verdad? Solo vamos a utilizar would, can, and could. Solo tres. ¿Por qué? Porque vamos a hacer peticiones, ¿verdad? Solicitudes, así como amablemente. Eso es lo que vamos a aprender. For example, would request invitation or making arrangement. Can ability or request and could possibility suggestion future possibility for example can you lend me your car could you do me a favor would you mind to pick me up afterwards so this is what we are going to do for example in this case it's not the same es no es lo mismo que yo le diga uh, hágame un favor eh, tráigame esto. Eh, bájele a la televisión. A que yo le diga, mire, me puede hacer un favor, por favor, me podría bajarle un poco a la televisión. Así como, it, it changes, right? The sentence, the meaning, right? So it is not like a command. No es como una orden, ¿verdad? It's not an order that I need to follow. It's like a favor that I'm asking, right? So that is the difference that we are, that's why we are going to use this kind of Model verbs. So you see, now we are we are going to listen different uh, perspectives here. This is another listening, and it says match the sentences, then listen and check your answers. Are all the requests reasonable? Y aquí tenemos requests. Will you take your garbage out, please? That is number one, right? Take out the garbage. But with requests is, would you take your garbage out? Number two, would you mind not parking your car in my parking space? Three, would you mind turning the music down, please? Four, could you close the door behind you and make sure it locks? Five, can you keep your cat inside, please? And these are the answers, right? We don't want strangers to enter the building. It often comes into my apartment through the balcony. It can attract insects. The walls are really thin, so the sound goes through to my apartment. I need to park mine there. So as you can see, we have different perspectives and um, we need just to match, right? Number one with number uh, with letter B or number three with letter A, it depends. So let's listen right now. Page 39, exercise seven, perspectives. Reasonable requests? Part A, match the sentences, then listen and check your answers. Are all the requests reasonable? One, 
Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? I'd like to make sure I'm not at home. 2. Can you turn the music down, please? The walls are really thin, so the sound goes through to my apartment. 3. Would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it locks? We don't want strangers to enter the building. 4. Would you please tell your guests to use the visitor parking spaces? A lot of cars have been using my space recently. Exercise 7. Perspectives. Difficult Neighbors. Part A. Match the sentences. Then, listen and check your answers. Are all the requests reasonable? 1. Would you take your garbage out, please? It can attract insects. 2. Would you mind not parking your car in my parking space? I need to park mine there. 3. Would you mind turning the music down, please? The walls are really thin, so the sound goes through to my apartment. 4. Could you close the door behind you and make sure it locks? We don't want strangers to enter the building. 5. Can you keep your cat inside, please? It often comes into my apartment through the balcony. Okay, very good. Do you have the, the answers? ¿Tienen las respuestas? Do you have them? Yes. Yes, okay. What is number one? Will you take your garbage out, please? Sí. It can attract insects. Sí. It can it attract my insects. insects. Very good. Number one is letter C. It can attract insects. Number two. Would you mind not parking your car in my parking space? I need to park my there. I need to park mine there. Very good. Letter E. Number three. Would you mind turning the music down, please? The walls are really thin, so the sound. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The walls are really thin, so the sound goes through my apartment. Number four, could you close the door behind you and make sure it locks? Letter A. Letter A, exactly. We don't want strangers to enter the building. And the last one, can you keep your cat inside, please? Letter B. Letter B, it often comes into my apartment through the balcony, exactly. Do you have any question about any word that you don't know? Preguntas acerca de alguna palabra que no conozcan? No questions? No questions. Okay, now, since uh, we have a lot of material now, right? We have models, we have requests, and we have problems, right? So what we have to do right now is just to practice, right? We can practice all of this in a conversation, but we don't have a conversation. Actually, I don't have a conversation right here. And we already did the homework, right? So we have a lot of family complaints and we have your complaints also, right? And what we are going to do is just to uh, create a conversation. Um, I'm going to so show you a conversation and we are going to take an example out of this com conversation and then we are going to create our own conversation. Okay, I'm going to play the video and I'm going, uh, I need you to pay attention 
because I will ask you this question. What does the daughter want from her father? What things does the father ask his daughter? And what happened at the end of the video? This is a video between a father and a daughter making requests, okay? And uh, pay attention because after that, you are going to do something similar. Después de que vean el video, van a hacer algo parecido a lo que van a ver en el video. So I will play it again. If you don't understand something, I will play it twice, okay? Remember to answer these questions, right? What does the daughter want from her father? What things that the father asks his daughter and what happened at the end of the video? Okay, we'll play it right now. Let me see here. Let me know if you don't listen to it, okay? If you, if you cannot hear it. Hi, Dad. Hi, Alexis. How was school? Fine. Is Mom home yet? No, she just called. She's working late tonight, so we're on our own for dinner. I thought we could heat up the leftovers from last night. You wouldn't mind having the same thing again. Yes. What is it? Nothing. It's just that, well, my computer's in the shop this week. Remember, I'm having it upgraded. Yes. So? So can I borrow yours? Sure. No problem. But not right now. I need to finish this. In the meantime, would you mind taking out the trash? Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. I'll go do that right now. You always forget. And would you mind hanging up your coat, please? Okay. Would you please let me know when I can use the computer? Sure. Do you mind telling me what you're doing? Nothing. Can I use the computer now? You can have it as soon as I'm finished with it. Okay, well, I'm just going to stand here and wait for a while then. Well, I've got an idea. Why don't you go clean up your room? I'll clean it up tonight after dinner. Uh-uh. You clean up your room, you get to use the laptop. That's the deal. Okay, I'll go clean it up now. But after that... You can use the laptop. Promise? turning down the music. It's so loud. I brought you the laptop. Well done, by the way. Thanks. Hey, Dad, you didn't log out of your email account. I didn't? No. Oh, well. Anyway, it looks much better in here. Thanks, but Dad, your desktop is totally a mess. And you haven't organized any of your bookmarks, and you haven't emptied the trash in days. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was such a mess. You should at least empty out the trash. That takes up a lot of space in your hard drive. I guess I just forgot. Tell you what, how about you clean up my desktop and I'll order us a pizza for dinner. Deal. <laughs> okay, do you understand the conversation? Do you have questions about the conversation? Yes? <laughs> Did you fall asleep? No, right? Okay, let's see. Okay, what does the daughter want from the father? What did she want? The laptop. The laptop, right? Yes, why? She didn't have her own laptop or what happened to her laptop?
It was being repaired, right? It was going to have an upgrade. An upgrade. Very good. Let's see. Number two. What things does the father ask to his daughter? Three things. What did he ask to her? What three what what three things he asked to his daughter? Yes. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Mate. You wouldn't mind having the same thing again. Take out the garbage. <laughs> Take out the garbage. Yes. What else? Pick up uh I don't remember. <laughs> okay, now here she is taking out the garbage, right? And then after she comes back, what happens? Oh, I'm just going to stand here and wait for a while then. Oh, I've got an idea. Go clean up your room. Okay, what did, what did he ask her? We yeah, clean up the his room. Exactly. Clean up the room, Maybe right? For dinner. Uh -uh. Clean up your room. You get to use the laptop. That's the deal. Okay, very good. And what is the third thing he asked? What is the third thing? ¿Cuál es la tercera cosa que le pidió? Uh, uh... Radio? Yes. Let's see. Come in. Mind turning down the music? Turn down the music, right? Would you mind? Turn down the music. Perfect. And let's see what happened at the end of the video. What happened at the end? What happened at the end of the video? Did they ask for something or no? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. In the desktop. No. Yeah, clean the desktop of the computer and are they going to order something to eat? Yes or no? Yes, uh, pizza. Yes, exactly. Pizza. Very good, Christian. Very good. Let's see. It's totally a mess. And you haven't organized any of your books. And you haven't emptied the trash in days. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a mess. You should at least empty out the trash. That's a lot of space in your hard drive. I guess I just forgot. I'll tell you what. How about you clean up my desktop and I'll order us a pizza for dinner? Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Now, um, we're going to have a homework for tomorrow because we are finished with the class, right? Let's see. So we studied auxiliary verbs and also request. But what we're going to do is a role play. I want you to create a conversation. But you are going to practice it with your classmates, okay? For example, and this is a, an example, right? You are discussing with your friend about how your parents raised you. You believe education was better decades ago than now. You believe children are a little spoiled nowadays. And the other person, you believe that education has to change and now times are different and we need to adapt the new problems and new ways to raise children in school and at home. That that would be an example of a role play. That would be an example. This one be another one, right? For example, neighbors, right? Uh, neighbors taking out the garbage, uh, parking uh, the car in the parking space, turning down the music, right? Or turning the music down. Um, I don't know uh, about the the pets, right? Or the one that we just watch about the father, right? And the daughter, they were requesting different things like uh, take out the garbage, 
um, clean up your room and uh, order a pizza right after that. So I want you to create a, a conversation. Si tienen tiempo libre mañana, tiempo libre mañana, pueden empezar a hacerla desde mañana, ¿verdad? Y mañana la vamos a practicar con uno de sus compañeros. Van a ponerse en parejas y van a empezar a, a crear esta conversación. Al final, pues, ustedes la van a presentar a la clase, ¿verdad? A conversation with request. ¿Qué tienen que usar en esta conversación? Modal verbs. Would, can, could. For example, can you lend me your car? Can you do me a favor? Would you mind, right? Would you mind pick up, pick me up afterwards? Like this, these kind of sentences, right? Can you lend me $20? Can you make me a sandwich? Can you help me with my homework? Would you mind not sitting here? Would you please turn down the TV? Would you mind speaking more quietly? So, at este tipo de oraciones quiero que incluyan en la conversación. How do we answer these uh, questions? Sorry, we didn't know we were so loud. Sure, do you want anything to drink? Sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't have any cash. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad, right? So um, try to create this conversation with these kind of uh, questions and answers, okay? Do you have any question about today's class? Any comment or any question about the homework? Alguna pregunta acerca de la tarea? No questions? Everybody's asleep right? in their beds already, right? You're tired. Okay, no problem. But we are going to continue tomorrow. Not right now. Ahorita no, ¿verdad? Eso va a ser mañana, tomorrow. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Puede ser que Tania trabaje con Cristian, Irma con Elida, eh, Marvin con Irvin, etc. So we are going to practice that tomorrow. And uh, just uh, remember use uh, to use uh, the model verbs, right? And would you mind and can and could. So if you don't have any other question, we are going to finish for today. Also try to use the information about your families, right? like kids screaming and things like that, the vocabulary that we studied today. Try to use this. Try to use all of the material that we studied today for tomorrow's exercise. If you don't have any other question, we are going to finish right now. I hope to have a nice night and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. I want to stay tomorrow. Have a nice night. Have a nice night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye.